We've been talking about this all morning. It is June 1st, and that means Pride Month is here, a time for the LGBTQ plus community to be seen and heard and for its allies to show their support. And joining me now is one of the co-chairs of NYC Pride, Andre Thomas. Andre, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, let's start with this year's theme, mm -hmm. Strength in Solidarity. And, it, you know, amidst a very unsettling time for the community. It, it is an unsettling time. And you know, we've seen in the past couple of months alone, the amount of anti-LGBT bills in state legislatures rise to about over 600. So when we chose the theme uh, from input with the community, we thought, you know, what is speaking to what's going on in the moment? How can we as a community bind together with you know, ourselves and with our allies to really you know, stand up against those who want to silence us to put us back in the closet in many ways. Right, because it takes everybody. It does, you know? it does. It's a, it's a, it's a team mm -hmm. effort, it's a group effort, it's a community together, standing together. Now the Pride Man, uh, the Pride March is mm -hmm. on Sunday, June 25th, and uh, you have some amazing grand marshals, five of them. We do, we do. <laughs> we have um, someone like Hope Giselle, who is a trans rights activist, uh, Randy Wicker, who has been an activist in the community since the 60s, uh, the incomparable, you know, Billy Porter, who has uh -huh. been, you know, a, a, the forefront of leading and elevating black and BIPOC voices in the media. And uh, we have AC Dumlau, who is really, you know, sports and our community. There's a, been a real clash in between those for many years too. Mm -hmm. So we've been, he has been really pushing forward a lot of those initiatives as well too. And Yasmin Benoit, we always have a youth activist. And so she has been there really pushing forth for the kids, for what be, it means to be a person of color, a queer person and young in this community. And let's talk about some of the upcoming events, mm -hmm. including the huge headliner for Pride Island. Of course, Christina Aguilera. Uh, she has been an ally of our community for many, many, many years, and we're really happy to bring back this wonderful event. We've had the likes of Madonna and Grace Jones before, so happy to welcome Christina. For the first time this year, we're doing it out in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. at Brooklyn Army Terminal, so really excited to have the community come in and dance, celebrate, and end it with Christina and fireworks. It's a really great event. That's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, we were talking about the events for kids. Tell sure. me about Youth Pride. So it's important for us to have a safe space for kids who are, at, you know, in this time, the target for most of the attacks that are going on. So we have a Youth Pride, which is the Saturday before Pride Sunday, and that uh, is, a, is a free event for kids. You know, the, the paid events pay for us having to have a free event for kids, and this gives them a space to dance, to celebrate with snacks, just be themselves with DJs and performers and really have a safe space that a lot of kids didn't have when they were growing up. So this is really one of the big things we love doing during Pride is having that for them. And is this all ages or? Yeah, it's all ages. Um, you know, up to 21, I say, is usually um, the, the maximum we cut off at to. But it's it's important for, you know, if kids aren't being, uh, don't have a comfortable place at home or in school, this is a safe place for them to have that moment of pride and be able to not have a fear of being bullied or disrespected just for even those couple hours it makes a big difference in their lives All right, any other events you want to tell me about sure so we have a brunch that uh, really celebrates uh, black LGBT chefs it's the day before Juneteenth so it's a good event to kind of get together dress up be fancy and help uh, celebrate pride uh, the first time ever the Yankees are doing pride night with us too mm. so that's the Wednesday of pride week too it's a great event to really uh, come out and you know, celebrate pride at a Yankees game everyone gets a free you know Yankees Yankees themed pride hat. It's a great event to have. We kick off events uh, tonight actually with a screening of Rocky Horror Picture Show at Rooftop Cinema Club. They're doing events and screenings for us all throughout the month. So it's best to just go to our, our website, nycpride.org. You can check out all the events we have going on throughout the month. All right, what would you say to someone mm -hmm. who is watching right now and questioning mm -hmm. who they are, um, struggling with their identity, and also, you know, as we were talking about after mm -hmm. the recent attacks on the community? So pride is a space for you to be yourself, to you know, find the approval from a community where you may not be getting it in other places too. And so don't you know, come to pride with a sense of you know, feeling who you can be, who you want to be, um, of being yourself, of being truly free without judgment, without fear, to be who you feel you want to be. And that's really what pride is about.
Wow. Andre, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, if you would like to know more about NYC Pride March, it is Sunday, June 25th. It begins on Fifth Avenue at 25th Street and travels all the way to the Stonewall National Monument in Greenwich Village before heading back north to Chelsea. And CBS2 is joining in the festivities this year as an official media sponsor for Queen's Pride. The Queen's Pride Parade and Multicultural Festi Festival is the second oldest and second largest Pride March in New York City, and it's way to recognize the impact gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and queer people have made in the borough of Queens. The parade steps off this Sunday at noon from 37th Avenue in Jackson Heights, and this year's theme is Dragtastic because there's such an attack against the drag community, um, against the LGBTQ community um, across the nation, um, and, and we're seeing it here in our home borough. So we have to come out and be bolder, louder, and prouder, um, just like we were 31 years ago, and 31 years later, you're gonna see that. The parade will be followed by a multicultural festival featuring more than 100 vendors and live entertainment until 5 p.m. And you can celebrate Queen's Pride along with us this Sunday, June 4th, starting at noon. Watch for updates on CBS New York and look for our Better Together float in this Sunday's parade. And then you can watch our special coverage on CBS 2 and CBS News New York. That's Wednesday, June 7th, as we bring you Queen's Pride, hosted by Jessica Moore.